Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, my name is Michael Ivanov. Um, the Assistant Superintendent for Finance and Operations in the Riverhead School District. And by New York State law, each school district must present a budget hearing one week before the budget vote to uh, go over the budget at a high level to the community uh, one last time. Uh, you will be receiving a uh, postcard that's uh, called a six day notice. If you haven't received it today, you will be receiving it tomorrow. Um, there are detailed copies of budgets available in all schools in the library, and I am also available to speak to any um, citizen that would like to discuss the budget. You can just call me in the district office, uh, Michael Ivanoff, and I will make an appointment and we can discuss any budget item that you have any questions on. Again, this is the uh, presentation that's been shown a couple of times. Uh, this year's budget. 2010-11 school year, which begins July 1st of 2010 and ends uh, June 30th of 2011. The budget proposed is $108,064,046. That is 1.99% uh, uh, increase to the current uh, fiscal year 2009-10 budget. And uh, the estimated tax levy is $82,717,368. And that is 2.57% increase to the current year tax level. The proposed budget maintains all current programs uh, and some highlighted programs are all academic programs, all uh, fine arts programs, athletics, extracurricular, before school and after school, enrichment and extra help, uh, secondary summer school, and the Star Academy. The uh, state requires that we show uh, the cost of education in three parts, program, capital, and administrative, and the budget in Riverhead um, results in program costs being 79% of the budget, capital costs 11%, administrative cost, 10%. Some examples of uh, the program component are all instructional expenses, special education, sports, transportation, and the 79% equates to $85,419,474. Some additional uh, areas of uh, of, that we would like to talk about today include the Enhancing Student Achievement and we will have some programs from the Columbia Teachers College, math programs, uh, reading programs in the elementary level, as well as the Read 180 Lab in grades 6 through 8. We will be continuing with uh, training and implementation of grammar and vocabulary curriculum in grades 7 through 12. AP courses at the high school, extra help from grades 2 through 12, curriculum mapping uh, in all grades, and ongoing professional development for our staff. Capital component, which represents 11% of the budget, or $12,068,948, and that contains uh, buildings and grounds costs, as well as debt service expenses. The administrative component, which is 10% of the budget, or $10,575,624, and that represents uh, curriculum development and supervision, central administration, auditing and legal costs. The revenue side of the budget, which is the money that is required to be collected by the district to uh, fund the budget, again, must be broken out in this format uh, by state regulations. Um, tax levy represents 77% of our revenue. Fund balance, which is the amount of money that the um, district gives back to taxpayers, that's 2%. Other costs, which can be uh, tuition from other school districts, uh, payment of taxes from towns, that comes out to 4%. And state aid is 17 percent, and I will talk about that in a second. 
And uh, from a dollar figure, state aid is eighteen million six hundred and eighty eight thousand twelve dollars. Tax levy eighty two million seven hundred seventeen thousand three hundred sixty eight dollars. Fund balance two million six hundred thousand. Other revenues four million forty eight thousand six hundred sixty six dollars. Here's um, again I said this every time I've given this presentation I would have liked to have changed this slide, but unfortunately uh, we are over 40 days beyond the state requirement for a state budget, which is April 1st. On April 1st, we should have had a budget which would have um, given us the amount of state aid we would be receiving in this fiscal year. As of now, we are projecting the original amount that Governor Patterson proposed back in January, which is about 18 Point seven million dollars, which is about a million and a half less than uh, we should have gotten under uh, different formulas. Um, just some areas of the executive proposal that uh, I chose to highlight were the areas of foundation aid, high tax aid, and the UPK universal pre-K grant. Those amounts are all frozen for the 2010-2011 school year. Traditionally, they've been uh, increased. Uh, the other area is charter school payments. Tuition to charter schools will remain frozen at the 0809 levels, but there's still a, an extraordinarily high amount, $15,743 that we pay for each student from Riverhead schools that attends a charter school. Our public high cost special education aid, which is aid we receive for um, summer school special education, that's dropping from 400,000 to 225,000. And also the um, federal stimulus program, which was introduced earlier this year, that did restore $900,000 of state aid in the current year and funded $700,000 in grants. But that program will end at the end of the 2010-11 school calendar year. So we will have to make up that money in the future. There's also an additional proposition on the ballot next week. It's Proposition 2, which is uh, expending some of the capital reserve fund. There'll be a proposition to add an elevator and a new roof at Roanoke Avenue School. The cost of that project is estimated to be $1,340,000. There'll be no extra cost to the taxpayer. The uh, funding is available in the capital reserve fund. The, uh, the roof is extremely in need of replacement in the building. It, it's probably uh, 15 years out of warranty and about 20 years beyond its, uh, its real life. And the, additional, the addition of an elevator into the Roanoke Avenue School is required under federal law, the American with Disabilities Act, in order to make the building compliant and that would help us uh, be able to legally do further additions to that building in the future. Recapping uh, May 18th, the week from today, budget vote right here in the high school from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. 